Hello guys, and in this video today I'm going to be doing a review of the TiVo Tornado and what modifications I've added onto it to make it a better printer. So let's get right into this video. So this is my Tornado, and as you can see I'm currently doing a print. I haven't done the time lapse for it. It's a lot of time, and I have plenty of time lapse ready to show you guys. Um, and so let's show you some of the modifications. Now as you can see right here, with that white piece, it was green, now it's not. I had a jam, but that's fixed, and it has the BL Touch on it, which helps with auto leveling, which the machine doesn't come with automatically, but it's really good, and you have to install custom firmware on the box that's right over here. And I might do a close-up of the screen, which is quite nice and easy to use. But I'll get up close to that print. So you can see that. And this is for a multi-part piece. In fact, it's actually from the 3D Kit Bash. Boon the Tiny T-Rex which is a very cool model. Now let's get to the back of the printer. So here is the back of the printer. I've also installed a Triangle Labs hardness steel extruder gear, which is much better than the one that comes with the original printer. It will probably let me do flexible materials, which I haven't actually tested, but I'm really curious if it would work. So let, let me show you my poly box. This is the poly box. It has a temperature temperature gauge with which can also tell the humidity inside the box. It has rods that have bearings on them that let the filaments roll along them. It can hold two one kilogram or two yeah it can hold two one kilogram rolls or one three. And it works really well. It has desiccants in the bottom to keep the moisture out and lets your filament be really good from the very beginning of the roll to the very end. And it has these holes on the top and the side that let you run the tube through to the printer. And it works really, really well and I highly suggest getting one. So now let's move on to the motherboard of the Tornado. So here's the motherboard. I'm sorry about the cable being right there. Um, the motherboard is just, I'm referring, it's really the box that controls the machine. Um, they're basically to assemble the printer. You have these cables that just clip in like right, you can see right there for all the axes and all the motors. And it's, that's pretty much all you have to do and screw in two pieces for the assembly um but that's how it's controlled is controlled from this box so you have settings like the info screen custom commands tune control pause print stop print now i have the bl touch software installed so custom commands could be i'm not going to click on any of them because that would mess up my print but you go to control and bl touch and all these different things this is stuff it has to do with the BL Touch, but it's not a big deal. But it has all these different options that you can use to get the printer to actually get an object printing. And as you can see right here, it does require an SD card. The CR10s use a micro SD, as this uses a full size SD card, which is really good. And you can store a lot of stuff on it, and you won't lose it as easily. And that, yeah, that's pretty much the box. It turns on and off. It has an AC power supply that heats the bed, which makes it heat up, heat up faster than some of the other, like, CR10s and stuff like that. It should take, like, two or three times as long, I think is what they said. Um, also, all the parts in the Tornado are metal. No plastic. If they aren't all metal, then there's a few pieces that are acrylic, but aside from that, everything is metal. So anything that was plastic on the Reality CR10 is metal on this machine. 
so they really did make it better. And let's get on to showing you an actual model that was printed. So here is a model that was printed on the Tornado. This was done in base mode, it's just the fluid base by Joseph Prusa. And currently it has light coming off of it, which looks really cool, but this is a very incredible model, which also looks really cool if you look straight down. And this is very large. I don't know exactly how to show you how big it is, but my whole arm fits down in there, which is pretty cool. And as you can see, I'm currently using matter hacker filament. This was uh, Xylotech green PLA. That was about 15 bucks on Amazon, so go check that out. Works pretty well. There are a few air places where there were slicing problems within my slicer, which is Cura. Um, but they're not, I don't even remember where they are, to be honest. There's one back, back here, but that was a slicing error. It was not the machine screw right now. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I'll get the time lapse up for this model, and I hope you like this. I hope you consider potentially buying a Tornado. It's really good. It's reliable. I've done probably over 100 hours, maybe even 200 hours of printing now. And I had only had a few problems, which are, were very easy to fix. And you don't really need to have that much knowledge about 3D printing to, to fix them. So, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. And here's the time lapse. And before I forget, please like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.